To say that Marquette sophomore Mary Claret has come a long way is both precisely accurate and a gross understatement. It's not just the 6,000 miles she traveled moving from Nigeria to Chicago, it's what she left behind. Back in Africa, seven family members shared a single bedroom. Life was hard and simple. We washed our dishes with dirt and water. Water didn't come out of a faucet every time. We'd have to go down to a well and pick it up. It was just how things were, and you used what you had. When she was five, her father had left and moved to America. The plan was to raise money and send for the family. A lot of children in Nigeria, when their parents leave to go to another country, especially the fathers, they usually don't come back. Four years later, her father made good on his promise. Mary Claret came to America, became a good student, and her freshman year in high school decided to try something completely foreign. I knew nothing about golf. I knew that it was gonna get me to a place that I really wanted to be. She became a caddy, and it turned out to be a life-changing event because of a man who died 12 years before she was even born. In 1930, golf champion Chick Evans was offered a fee for a series of instructional books, but accepting the money would have invalidated his cherished amateur status. So instead, he created a fund to help people do something he never could, pay for college. 82 years later, the Evans Scholars Foundation has sent some 10,000 school-age caddies who kept up their grades and demonstrated commitment to their jobs to college. Every year, 225 full four-year grants are given out. Last year, one of them went to Mary Claret. You can't do it alone. You, you need the support. Knowing that there are people out there who actually want me to succeed just makes me want to keep going and do better. In these days of scandal, shortcuts, and moral indifference, the Western Golf Association's Evans Scholarship Program is something different. A refreshing departure for the dialogue of sports. From the worst we can do to the best we can be.